So St. Bernard Parish is one of those areas that could see major impacts from Tropical Storm Sally. Paul Murphy joins us live there with the latest. Paul. Devin, just within the last 30 minutes, we are starting to see some heavy rain showers and lightning here along Bayou La Lutra, where we have also been watching the water come up over the docks this evening. St. Bernard could be one of those high impact areas for the storm, according to parish leaders, and people down here are taking Sally very seriously. We expect to have the wind, the surge, and rain for, for this event. A dangerous potential trifecta for coastal St. Bernard Parish now in the crosshairs of Tropical Storm Sally. As night fell in Wyklosky, Parish President Guy McGinnis was telling residents to get prepared, especially those who live outside the levee protection system. He's expecting up to 12 inches of rain, maybe more in some areas, up to 100 mile per hour wind gusts, and storm surge 7 to 11 feet above normal. The track that they currently are looking at is really, um, it's concerning to us because it, it, it looks like an Isaac or a Katrina path. And, and that's a bad path for St. Bernard Parish. St. Bernard residents are heeding the warnings. Many of them, like Chris Carpenter and Thomas Gaffney, spent the day moving valuables inside the floodgates. Parked boats, trailers, tractors, and trucks stretch for about four miles along Highway 46. Not sure, just being prepared for the second time. <laughs> this, this is part of the drill? This is part of the drill, and we're getting good at it. Where we came from, water's already coming up to the edge of the roadways. So any, anything that's left back there is just going to be flooded out. So anything that you want to keep, you have to move out. Water is already coming up over the docks in Hopedale. Camp owner Joe Martin said Sally's predicted storm surge would likely flood out everything under his raised camp. That's why he's moving everything up or out of harm's way. You have boats, you have boat lifts, you have tools. So yeah, it's important to get all the valuables out because uh, nature shows no mercy. So. It's going to do its thing, so we have to do our thing and get everything out of here. There is no evacuation in place in St. Bernard, but McGinnis is urging some people to consider moving north to higher ground. You don't want to have a child or an elderly person or a disabled person without power for a few days, and that is going to be expected if this hurricane continues on its current path. I just want to make one more point about storm surge. This street that I'm standing on here is three feet above sea level. And if we get that 11 foot storm surge that is now projected here in St. Bernard, water would certainly, I'm six feet tall, so water would certainly be way over my head where I'm standing tonight. We're live in Wyklosky in St. Bernard Parish, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.